Still gardening? Welcome to this all-age family service. Our readings today speak of the way that our life can be intimately linked to our risen Lord Jesus and that having his life in us, flowing through us, will be enabled to live fruitful lives that will be a blessing to others, both those who we love and know personally and others whose lives we touch and affect in our daily routines. So let us ask the Lord Jesus to meet with us today and to speak into our hearts and lives. But we're going to begin as we always do. Let's see, let's get the other hat on. You've guessed it, the birthday hat. Perhaps you know someone who is especially grateful as another birthday has come around. So let's sing happy birthday to you. God's blessings on you. To them, today, you put in the name. And now our first song of the service, that, that well-known Sidney Carter song, I danced in the morning when the world was begun. I danced in the morning when the world was begun. I danced on the moon and the stars and the sun. I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth. At Bethlehem I had my birth. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all. Wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee They would not dance and they wouldn't follow me I danced for the fishermen James and John They came with me and the dance went on Dance, dance, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I lead you all, wherever you may be And I lead you all in the dance, said he I danced on the Sabbath and I cured the lame The holy people said it was a shame They whooped and stripped and they hung me high And they left me there on the cross to die Dance, dance, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I lead you all, wherever you may be And I lead you all in the dance, said he I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black It's hard to dance with the devil on your back They buried my body and the thought I'd gone But I am the life and I still go on Dance, dance, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I lead you all, wherever you may be And I lead you all in the dance, said he they took me down, but I leapt up high I am the life that will never, never die I live in you if you live in me For I am the Lord of the dance, said he And dance, dance, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I lead you all, wherever you may be And I lead you all in the dance, said he Dance, dance, wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I lead you Forever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. And now, Elizabeth and Paul read to us words from John about the love of God found in the Lord of the dance. My dear friends, we must love each other. Love comes from God, and when we love each other, it shows that we have been given new life. We are now God's children and we know him. God is love and anyone who doesn't love others have never known him. God showed his love for us when, we, when he sent his only son into the world to give us life. We all love it and our love for God, but it's his love for us. God sent his son to be the, 
the sacrifice by which our sins are forgiven. Dear friends, since God loved us this much, we must love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us, and his love is truly in our hearts. God has given us his spirit, that we know that we are one with him, just as he is one, is one with us. God sent his son to be the saviour of the world. We saw him, we saw his son, and are now telling us about him. God stays one with everyone who openly says that Jesus is son of God. That's how we stay with God and sure that God loves us. God it is love. If we keep loving others, we will stay one in our hearts with God and he will stay one with us. If, if we truly love each other and live as Christ did in the world, we wouldn't be worried about the day of judgment. A real love for others will chase those worries away. The thought of being punished is what makes us afraid. It shows that we have not really learnt how to love. We love because God loves us first. But if we say God, we got love God and don't love each other, we are liars. We cannot see God, so how can the love if how can we love God if we don't love the people who we, who, who we can see? The commandment that, that God has given us, the commandments that God has given us is love and love God and love each other. Here ends the reading. Lucy and Jack now lead us in saying sorry for when we haven't allowed God to live in us and to work through our lives. Lord Jesus, we are like a dead branch. Sometimes we are unkind and unhelpful. Forgive us and help us to do to you. Lord Jesus, sometimes we say things that are cruel and rude like sour fruit. Forgive us and help us to join to you. Lord we are sorry for the times when we were selfish, thinking that our way is better than yours. Forgive us and help us stay joined to you. Lord Jesus, every time we do something wrong, we feel we fail to bring glory to God. Forgive us and help us stay joined to you. Jesus said, if you stay joined to me and I will stay joined to you, then you will produce a lot of fruit. Lord, thank you for forgiving us. Help us stay joined to you. So the song, You are the vine, we are the branches. Branch 
righteous keep us abiding in you then we'll grow to heal and to save You are the vine branches keep us abiding in you you are the vine we are the branches keep us abiding Now Grace reads the words of Jesus from the Gospel story. Second reading, John 15, verses 1 to 8. Jesus is the true vine. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts away every branch of mine that does not produce fruit, but he trims clean every branch that does produce fruit, so that it can produce even more fruit. You are already clean because of what I have said to you. Stay joined to me, and I will stay joined to you. Just as a branch cannot produce fruit unless it stays joined to the vine, you cannot produce fruit unless you stay joined to me. I am the vine, and you are the branches. If you stay joined to me, and I stay joined to you, then you will produce lots of fruit. But you cannot do anything without me. If you don't stay joined to me, you will be thrown away. You'll be like dry branches that are gathered up and burned in a fire. Say, so join to me and let my teachings become part of you. Then you can pray for whatever you want and your prayer will be answered. When you become f fruitful disciples of mine, my father will be honoured. Another song now for smaller ones about how we grow and give. Good things. 
things will align God is the Now let's see some of the growth you've been involved with.
Lauren and Arthur are going to help us start thinking about fruitfulness. Hello! We are going to talk about bananas and apples in a fruitful community. So we've got our fruit bowl here. Arthur, can you find some bananas in our fruit bowl? Okay. Um, what do bananas make you think of? A jerk. <laughs> Are you going bananas? Yes. Okay. Um, bananas are also bright and cheerful. They're yellow, a happy and positive colour, and they grow in the shape of a smile. Everyone learns and works best in a happy atmosphere, so if you bring a smile to what you're doing, you'll bring great encouragement to others. And should anything happen to make us feel sad, make it into a sad face. Um, that's when another smiling face and a listening ear can do so much to help. So we need to be prepared to help with a smile those who are sad. Make it smile again. Yay! <laughs> uh, another fact about bananas is that they grow together in large bunches and a bunch of bananas like this is called a hand. Where can we be helping hands? Can we be helping hands to our friends even when we can't see them much? Finally, bananas are also filled with energy and we need lots of energy too. Can you find an apple in our fruit bowl? Hold it up. Apples are different sizes and colors and flavors, but one thing that they all have in common is that at their core, they are stars. <laughs> so we ask God to help us be fruitful in our lives like apples and bananas, bringing smiles and joy and energy to what we do, and because at our hearts God has placed a star. Here's your star. Okay, so now we will say a prayer. Can you do prayer hands? Good boy. Lord God, you give to us the joy of being alive the company of others, the opportunities of each new day. Bless us and our friends today and always. Amen. Amen. Okay, goodbye. Bye. We're going to take that further now with the Bible applied. In God's true book, the Bible, Jesus uses pictures to tell us seven great things about himself. And they all start with the words, I am. Here is the last picture. Jesus said, I am the true vine and my father is the gardener. Have you ever seen a fruit tree? I once saw a tree that grew lemons. It was amazing. It was very colorful. When fruit grows on trees, it makes people happy, especially the gardener. Good fruit makes the gardener very happy. Now, what does a gardener do? It is the person that cares about the tree. They water it and make sure the tree gets enough light and they cut off bits of the tree that aren't good so that the good bits keep on growing. And what happens when a branch falls off that tree? Does it still grow leaves and fruit? No, of course it doesn't. But why? Why don't branches that have broken away from the tree keep growing leaves and fruit? Because they are not part of the tree anymore. Branches need to stay part of the tree to enjoy being alive. Otherwise, they just end up rotting on the ground. Here is what Jesus means. If we say sorry to God for the wrong things we have done and choose to follow Jesus, that means that we listen to his words and choose to do the right things just like Jesus did, then God will make us more and more like Jesus. Now that is great news. Jesus is saying he is like the trunk of the tree and we are the branches. If we break off from the tree, then we can't produce fruit anymore. Isn't Jesus amazing? He is the one that gives us life and helps us to grow fruit. But what does Jesus mean by fruit? In another part of God's true book, we can find a list of the good things that grow in us 
that make God, our gardener, happy. They are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These are the things that make God happy. So, what have we seen? Jesus says he is like the trunk of a tree, and when we follow him, we are like his branches. When we are connected to Jesus, it's like the fruit begins to grow, fruit that makes the gardener happy. If the gardener finds branches that are not producing fruit, then he cuts them off, so the whole tree gets better and better. Jesus is like a tree, and we are like the branches that produce good fruit. Now here is an idea for you to do at home. See if you can think of nine different fruits. Then why not draw them and cut them out? And then you can write on each one, one of these words, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. When you are done, you can colour them in and then stick them up in the same place that you go to bed. And then each day when you wake up, you can remember that God is growing these things in you. Don't we have a wonderful God who makes us more and more like Jesus? And now another song that we often dance and do actions to in church. See if you can remember some of the actions. Jesus, you're my superhero. You're my star, my best friend. Join in if you can remember how to do that. And Rebecca will now lead us in our praying. As we remain in him, 
we bring to Jesus our prayers, saying, You are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service. Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless and guide your church as it seeks to reveal your glory in the world. Cut away anything that prevents us bearing fruit and make us faithful to your calling in worship and witness, fulfilling your commission to make disciples of all people. We pray especially for all of us at this time of change that we continue to listen to you and remain faithful to your plans for the church. You are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service. Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless and guide all those who govern this world and have authority over us. May their laws be rooted in your love and their decisions based on your justice, fulfilling your command that we love one another as you have loved us. We pray especially as the country opens back up that the correct decisions are made at the correct times. You are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service. Lord, we ask you to bless and guide counsellors and carers, those who bring relief and comfort to the suffering and needy. May their work be governed by your compassion and strengthened by faith, as they minister to the victims of abuse and crime, to the elderly and terminally ill, to the homeless and rejected. You are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service. Lord Jesus, we ask you to bless and guide those who are suffering as a result of illness or infirmity, or who, in anxiety or uncertainty, do not know which way to turn. May they be reassured by your presence and that your love remain in them, and that even in happy circumstances, they can still bear fruit for you. We pray especially for those who are now venturing out of the house, either returning to old activities and work, on new activities, that any anxiety is lifted from them. You are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service. Lord Jesus, we ask for ourselves your blessing and guidance as we continue on our earthly pilgrimage. As we remain in you, the true vine, may your life be seen in us by the fruit we bear and the glory we bring to your name. Lord Jesus, you are the vine and we are the branches. Make us fruitful in your service and joyful in your presence for your name's sake. Amen. And so as our Lord taught us, we pray the kingdom prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have our final song. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace.
Let's join with the twins in that Easter praise we used last month. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, conquered death for us. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, rose triumphant from the grave. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is seated in heaven at the Father's side. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will return in power and majesty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Well, it's fun worshipping and talking to God, our Lord, whose life is in us and who makes our lives fruitful in the world. So thank you for sharing this service with us and may God bless you and yours in the week ahead as you go out and about with joy and peace. Stay safe and join us again next week for a morning service here online.